サイバークロレア卒業生の吉田です今回の動画では私がボストンに行ってきたので MIT に合格した IB 生に突撃インタビューをしてきましたインスタグラムで募集した質問をもとに動画を撮ってきておりまして今回の動画は特に課外活動キャスについての話をメインに話した動画になっておりますこちらの IB 生はクロアチア出身の方で今は MIT のコンピューターサイエンスを学ばれていますそれではユキンリュウです Let's go I think that will be an interesting video Oh yeah <laughs> Okay だと今回は MIT にいる IB 生の方に来ていただきました um, Can you do like a short intro? Yeah, sure about yourself So right now I am a first year MIT student I just came in to school Uh, during high school, I did IB for basically the whole four years of high school. So I did IB MYP first, and then two years of IB diploma program. And all throughout high school, I've been doing math and computer science competitions. And um, yeah, that's what I'm planning on studying, sort of. So that's what I'm interested in. Thank you. So now, I'm going to ask you a question about the q u e s So, yeah, I think I only really started worrying about university when I came into the third year of college, where, when I knew.、Wow. So, you apply to college when you were. Yeah, you, you apply to college first semester of your fourth year of high school. So, I was thinking about it、uh, during the second semester of my third, third year, third year, third year, year of high school. I had it in May, like after I applied for college. Okay, okay. So, I had my prediction grades. And that's what I applied with, and、mm. then I had to confirm those predictive grades、um, or on the final exam. Okay, okay. How did you balance the studying for the final exam and you know, the application process? That was, that was a very busy time. Yeah. So, we all have- thinking about where I want to study. And I did all that thinking like during the summer.、Mm-hmm. So I already had like a list of places that I wanted to apply to.、Mm-hmm. But what, what first came was applying to American University. So you have to do that by the beginning of January.、Mm-hmm. So basically, my whole like first semester, or like those couple of months leading up to that, I spent a lot of time into writing my applications,、mm-hmm. into actually following along in school, finishing all of my internal assessments, all of my extended essays and things. Yeah.、Um, so that was basically my first, for first half of that year. And then winter break came, and w- when winter break comes, you basically don't, you basically finish with all of your applications、mm-hmm. for American mm-hmm. universities at least. And so I spent that time preparing for my mock exams. And then came mock exams. And basically, during the second semester of your, of your last year, I basically put all of my time into studying for the IB exam. So,、um, one of the questions I think I、um, had was what projects were you doing, CAS, that I think that you think maybe stood out when you got into MIT? That's a good question.、Um, I mean, it's a question that I think a lot of people will wonder about.、Mm. So, What I think pushed me the most was something that didn't even count for my CAS. Like, I asked my CAS coordinator, does math and computer science competitions, does preparations count for CAS? And she said no. Oh, okay. No. So, okay, that sounds. A, how is that a no? <laughs> that sounds like a CAS for me, but. I think the accomplishments I've made for that are the most important thing that pushed me forward. I see. Because、um, I did a lot of international competitions and、mm-hmm. I got some, like, Recognition there.、Um, but I think some, I, I think schools like MIT and all the other, all the other Ivy Leagues, I'd say,、yeah. um, they also want to see more, like what's behind the person that、mm. did all those accomplishments. So I think that's where my past activities or other just projects, like the personal project during、um, MIT. 
uh, kind of came forward um, during my second year of high school. So while I was still at MIT, I did my personal project. It was an app, like I made an app for Android. It wasn't anything like, I wasn't planning to make anything more out of it. It was just for me to learn app development mm -hmm. and to test it out. And it was an app that like me and my family used. Um, so it was something that, it was a project that took a couple of months. I was like researching all these different libraries. I was learning Java, I was learning Android development. And it was, it, it came out to a product that I was actually really proud of because it's something like very concrete and very tangible that I made. And I was really happy about that, and I, and I learned a lot of skills along the way. Well, um, what app was it? It's an app for listening to a radio show. It's sort of like a podcast app, I think. Mm. Um, I, I think that's the best way to describe it, but like, for this one very specific radio show, that's like available only through Croatian radio. Mm. So that's why I, I, I wanted to make it, because you couldn't like, usually listen to it very practically on your phone. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to make an app to listen to it on my phone. Make it easy. Mm, I see. Wow. Okay. Do you have any standout experiences? I don't think I did my extended essay, which I put also a lot of effort on, and I think, like ended up um, getting it. I got it accepted to like a student conference that was like in the local area. Mm -hmm. um, which like that I put effort into making my extended essay an actual piece of work that I could show someone mm, 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 um, mm. and then that's what got me into that conference. I see. Um, what did you, what was the subject about? It was about computer science, it was about a very specific architecture and machine learning mm. uh, that was like recently had come out. It's like, so one person is asking, what subjects did you take in IB? I took high level mathematics, I took high level Bosnian because that's something that my school made us mm -hmm. take. I took uh, high level English, mm -hmm. or it might have been standard level English. I took high level economics, uh, I took standard level computer science, and standard level physics. Mm, okay. Um, do you mind telling us like what you got for the final score? Yeah, of course. Uh, my final score on the exams was 39. Mm -hmm. I got sixes in Boston and economics. Mm -hmm. I was kind of sad about that because those, like, I was doing well in those subjects before the exams, and I was more worried about physics and computer science uh -huh. and things like that, like messing on very specific things on there. But yeah, mm -hmm. it was so fun. It was so fun. And then I got all the points for my uh, TOK and and E. e yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually got a 39 as well. Let's go! Yeah. Uh-huh. Which is one point away from 40. It is, yeah. it is. But, but this is a parent, I think. She's asking, um, my daughter is elementary school right now. And um, is there anything that she could do to get into like a good university? She's like from that early on, what you can do is encourage your children to do the things that they're excited about. Mm. and help them do them at a high level yeah to not just keep it in their own heads keep, keep it in their own notebooks and like but like encourage them to do it at a broader broader scale to meet the communities of people who mm -hmm. do that sort of stuff and encourage them to go forward with that and i don't know if there's a very specific like i wouldn't recommend anyone to be pushing their children to do anything a specific subject but just like finding what their child is interested in and mm. what, it, what it's good in mm, 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 and encouraging them and helping them along the path of like being i won't say like being the best in, in that field but like helping them fulfill what they can achieve mm, 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 mm. yeah that is a good advice after all i feel like a lot of universities, especially in the US, they look at the passion. Like, is this yeah. person really passionate about this? Or is she just like, you know, make up, um, just trying to get into university yeah, and yeah. then like just, just doing something she's actually not interested in? Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. you, you do hear a lot of stories about people who are just doing certain activities because they thought it would help them get into university. Mm -hmm. I think also hearing your story, I feel like the extracurricular activities you did were really consistent Some, somewhere around like app development 
um, computer science or math. Yeah, yeah. Were there any other things that were like, I don't know, more education or, or I don't know, something that's not related to those fields? Um, I think I've always been, not I think, like I know that I've always been curious about mm -hmm. other, other types of stuff and uh -huh. just wanting to know about it. Yeah. But I think for the projects that I did, mm -hmm. for the things that took me months to do, I mostly focused on math and computer science and things. Mm, other students as well, I think consistency is, is the key. Instead of doing like very general stuff, shallow, mm. it's good to be consistent and go really deep on like a... Mm. I don't think that's true. There's a lot to be said about the value of exploring things at a shallow level, but I think it's much more meaningful to go mm. deeper than just the surface mm -hmm. in some ways. Which is why I said like to the question of encouraging children to do what they like and encourage them to do that, do that at a higher level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Any any last words for you know IB current IB students out there? <laughs> any last words? Yeah. Um, good luck. Make sure that your time during the IB is not only for the exams and not only for getting accepted to universities. Actually, make sure that throughout your time at, at the IB you're doing what you like and you're trying to discover what it is that you like. Mm. So I'd say spend more time on your passions and try to make them fit IB standards than doing IB things just because you're doing IB things. Wow. I wish I could hear it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, well, thank you so much for your time, and yeah, I'll probably see you guys in the next video. はい、今回の動画いかがでしたでしょうか。MIT に合格する最終試験に向けて準備してきたのかというのを事前に知ることによって自分自身の経験にも応用することができます。IB という IB生活、そして結果につながっていくと思います。IB サポートチャンネルでは国際バカロレア特化の家庭教師サービスを行っています。講師の方々は全員IBの最終試験が45点満点中39点以上を取得した方々になっており、国内外でトップの大学に在